The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. And the unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry, came out of him, and all were amazed and asked one another, what is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee, the gospel of the Lord. Yesterday's gospel, St. Mark reminds us that Jesus was announcing the kingdom of God is at hand. That's right, a kingdom, a new ruler, and his first opposition to his kingdom comes in, of all places, a house of worship, a synagogue. It's a revelation of the fact that the truth of a real conflict in the world is a spiritual conflict. It's an encroachment on the kingdom of God. And that's the real battle. It's the root of all other things. And so this man is possessed, but something he's not totally lost. He, something is driving him the shred of his conscience that's still intact, and he cries out. We're told he cries out, not the evil spirit. If he was possessed, if he is a possessed person, sometimes the spirit takes over and does the crying out. This man himself is crying out. He wants help. He wants to surrender to the great and mighty king. He's sick of the kingdom of evil. This man, to me this morning as I was reading this, represents how humanity should be crying out to God. And somehow there's a, there's a grace in us that even when we're this sick, we can cry out, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. And Jesus responds to this man. First, he has to deal with the evil one. And he does. Be quiet. Come out of him. And the man experiences healing. And he's reintegrated into the community. And the kingdom of God in that synagogue is restored. The walls are fortified. The place where God's word is reverenced and spoken that has been defiled is now restored. This is the calling of every Christian. It's our participation in the proclamation of God's kingdom. It's not about war and destruction. It's not about economics. It's addressing a spiritual conflict where we cry out to God and we say, Lord, there's evil among us. Would you come and heal heal us? Would you come and manifest your kingdom. This is what we're supposed to be doing Sunday after Sunday. We begin it in the penitential rite. Lord, have mercy. 
Sunday after Sunday, we gather and we proclaim the kingdom. This is the only way to solve the problems of the world. And most people don't even see it. I pray we do. And so we cry out to the Lord. It's the reason why we pray. It's the reason why we assemble here. It's the reason why we receive the Eucharist. It's the reason why we live on the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of Jesus. And it's the reason why we flee to reconciliation whenever necessary. And so here we are. Jesus is crying out over us to all the evil. Be quiet and come out and go away. His kingdom now is at hand. Regina Jenny, let her rest.